So again, that spinning of our planet in that 24 hour time period at a faster rate around the equator and at a slower rate around the poles causes our wind and our clouds to curve around and around that we're seeing in these little video clips. Now many times you'll see that visually drawn like what we have here. So what we've been drawing so far is convection currents just rising and falling. Well the problem that doesn't take into account of course the Coriolis effect because of the spin of our planet. So as these things rise and fall they're going to curve much like these ones here are curving. Same with this one here. It rises and falls but because it's spinning it's going to curve as it rises and falls. So what you get ending up happening is curves with the wind like these jet streams that are going around our planet. Again, caused because of our Coriolis effect. Winds, clouds, do not go in straight lines. Now the Coriolis effect also is going to affect our ocean currents. So because the Earth is spinning, it also causes our ocean currents to no longer travel in straight lines, but to curve as they travel. And so we see that throughout the planet, this curving feature of our ocean currents, all because of the Coriolis effect, the spinning of our planet. So again, if you look at just a picture of the ocean currents and how they move around our planet, that's why you never see an ocean current just going in a straight line. They're all going to be pretty much curving along because of that spinning earth.